Hello all 5k or 5 fans. Today we're going to be reacting to my biggest problem with living in Japan. As some of you may know, I am a Japan expert and I'm a pro Japan enthusiast and Akadirist, who we're going to call Aki, made a video talking about loneliness in Japan. Now, I personally disagree in that statement already. I already know this statement is less on Japan and more of a, her problem. But let's just get into the video. If you live in Japan or you think you live in Japan, you're going to feel lonely. And here's why. Hey friends, it's Akadiris. And in this video, I wanted to address Not your friend. in Japan. This is a more serious topic, but I just want to let you guys know, after four and a half years of living here, I don't see myself moving out of Japan anytime soon. I do think that that's right. not waste the bad, and I don't see myself moving to the U.S. anytime. As you guys see from my channel, I have years worth As expected. of content to show you guys all of the great reasons why you should come or visit. Good or video so far. Japan. But no country is perfect, so that's why in this video, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit more serious. I don't want to scare anyone out of wanting to live here. But One country is perfect. Anxiety in Japan is definitely something that you should take into account. The reason I'm bringing up this topic is because I recently had lunch with one of my personal friends who is very good at Japanese. I'd say that they pretty much conform to Japanese society and their behavior is what everyone expects from them. And they have a decent amount of friends. They're a pretty sociable person. So this is someone that from the outside looking in, they are definitely going to live here for a long time. But while we were eating, they said, you know, Aki, I've been living here for almost two years and I think I want to move back to my own country. And then I thought, why? You're doing so well. My thoughts exactly. So said, my know, thoughts exactly. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel more lonelier in Japan than I ever have in my entire life, and I don't know why. But moving to any country is going to be stressful. You are adopting a new culture, probably a new language, and also a new way of thinking. Let alone when you move here, you have to understand that Japan is a country that is different from almost anywhere else in the world. That's that is right. So it is much better. That you have to catch up with that can become. Yes, you need to catch up if you want so to move to Japan. You have to catch up. Realize, oh my God! You know what? I feel the. Or else you'll be a rude way, guy. Jin. Beating myself up over it because I live a really privileged position in life. Whether or not you're in Japan. Japan, I have a good relationship. I it have friends, privileged. and even though my family isn't here, they're only a call away. You don't so need your family when you're in Japan. Japan, move to Japan as soon as you turn 18. Not to mention, I felt my anxiety shoot up a lot. We're not going to be including the years that COVID was around because I feel that that was a time where everyone was feeling lonely. I feel even without the pandemic, I still would have felt this way in not Japan. not in japan but i've always brushed it off and just try to count my blessings but it does creep up on you one of the reasons for this is moving to a new country like i said earlier japan is so different from the rest of the world and one of the so things better. you have to accept is that japan in itself is a very quiet and introverted country. that is what we call a self portrayal she calls Japan a quiet country. This is a horrible inaccuration and racist view term of Japan. Japan is not quiet. It is certainly quiet to rude gaijins, which seems to be her, which means rude westerner tourist. But if you respect the beliefs and get to know it, it can be loud. They have parties. They do firework festivals. If you've ever seen my dress up darling they do many they the firework festival any watch any anime and there's fireworks it's loud it's parties they have fun this is a total inaccurate viewpoint and is a self-insertion because she is quiet and lonely not japan and I'm an introverted person who also had anxiety before I even moved here. So I thought that the transition was going to be quite smooth for me. Little did I know, actually being an introvert and then moving to an introverted country actually adds on top of that. No matter how introverted you are, human beings are sociable people. And for me, I was growing up in one of the loudest countries I'd say exists. I mean, I'm Filipino and I'm American. Filipinos were super loud. Americans were even louder, maybe too loud. But as I was growing up, every adult- We already discussed was... loudness. Whoa, 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 what, 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 what? Only seen 
<clears throat> this is another inaccurate viewpoint. As you can see, this video that they're showing of a public meltdown is fake. One, it is either a gaijin. Two, it's just a fake skit. As you can see, 38 likes and 12 dislikes and zero dislikes. Doesn't seem too realistic to me, does it? No. Also, this does not look like Japan. Japan is way better looking than this. This looks like any normal city. Japan has lights and and just it has more of a vibe to it. This this is and this is this is fake. This is AI. So this maybe once out of all the ones that I've looked at. But this is just kind of showing you that this does happen. Not to say that other countries don't have public meltdowns, but as you can see nobody Public meltdowns are serious. I mean, she is losing it, so I guess the people... We've discussed this. Yes. Yes, exactly. So many rude tourists. Yes, as it should. You should always be behaving well. Lack of mental health support? The reason they have that in that country is because the only people that need mental health support in Japan is the tourists coming in. In Japan, they have anime, they have manga, they have JRPGs, they have bento boxes, they have good, cute, kawaii school outfits. They, they don't... It's very important mental health, yes, but it's not as needed in such a superior country. Now that we discussed it. The society. They're pretty much hikikomori at that point. So I know that this is a lot to worry about when it comes to... I mean, shut in. The good news about it is that there is a way around it. And again, as somebody that has lived here for a while, I still do want to live here. And there are ways to go around it. So actually, I'm going to be sharing some advice that isn't just good for people living in Japan, but also just good for anyone that is struggling with loneliness or anxiety. One of the biggest pieces of advice I can give is just changing your mindset about a situation. Yes, How change your mindset about Japan. Us? You have about an average of 50,000 bots a day. So it's only expected that out of really? 50,000 bots, you're probably going to be thinking of a lot of negative things. Human beings, I feel it's very common to... This, this isn't about Japan. I honestly think that it's come to a point I feel like that man just does not have the capability of just doing nothing it's it's amazing how much he keeps himself busy I don't really have that stamina but whenever I catch myself on the couch or on the bed dwelling on things that I shouldn't be dwelling on I try to find the discipline to distract myself in some way whether it be a hobby or calling someone the third piece of advice is pretty interesting because this is coming from someone that I was talking to but they said that especially for living in Japan their piece of advice was to enjoy being lonely being alone doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing it gives you time to this isn't Japan central you should be able to there's a difference between being lonely and being alone this advice is not I feel like whatever is said in reality just gets totally misconstrued when it's online it's like reality and the internet have two different languages so I treat them almost as like separate things so I feel it's just really important to find a balance in between I hope that this video did shed light in some way I know that I didn't do a good job at saying this in this video but Japan, I still think, is a really great place. And even yes, though yes. There are some factors like loneliness that is a big issue here. A self insertion. Life is only what you make it, no matter where you are in the world. But I appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to my channel for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Niha. So, that is a review of someone who is.
let me fix that. Who is not accustomed to Japanese culture moving into Japan. They're not going to have as well as the time is it. You need to be able to adjust. As she said, you need to adjust your mindset to superior Japan to be able to enjoy it. And if you can't enjoy things like anime and manga, maybe you're just not... Maybe you're just not mentally matured enough to enjoy the mature aspects and talk to the mature residents of Japan because they're far above rude gaijin westerners. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned something. Goodbye.